WordPress made it easy for anyone to create a website. It's easy to use, it's fast, it doesn't require a lot of technical knowledge. Heck, even someone like me who's not a developer can do things like SEO and modify WordPress with a breeze. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna cover the perfect SEO setup for WordPress. Eight plugins to skyrocket your rankings and traffic. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. That way, when I go live, whether it's on Facebook, YouTube, or LinkedIn, you'll get notified. Question, do you have a WordPress-based website? I'm curious, let me know what platform you're using. Are you using WordPress? Are you using Wix? Let me know. Some of the most important factors that Google looks into in order to rank your site are some of the following. User experience, on-page SEO, site speed, mobile friendliness, internal link structure, structured markups. All these things impact your ranking. And there's hundreds of other factors. There's over 200 factors that Google includes in their algorithm. And today, I'm gonna share with you plugins that'll help you do all of these things, plus more in a really easy and controlled way. Plugin number one, W3 Total Cache. Look, load time is super important, especially because people are using mobile devices now. Yes, there's 4G, there's 5G, you know, LTE, whatever you want to end up calling it. But the problem with mobile devices is if you're in a place that doesn't have the best reception, I don't care if you have a 5G phone, you're not going to load websites really fast. The W3 Total Cache plugin, it ensures that your site will load as fast as you possibly can. It'll improve load times, it'll help you connect with CDNs, it makes better use of your server resources, so that way your server doesn't have to continually push the same content over and over again. Instead, it caches it so it can deliver it to the user as quick as possible. And if you have a really good hosting provider, they have caching built in, but most of the hosting providers that I've seen don't have caching built in, hence I'm recommending the W3 Total Cache plugin. Another plugin that you need to check out is a Smush Image Compression plugin. If you're creating blog content and hey, you're on a WordPress blog or WordPress as a CMS, there's a good chance you at least have a blog article too. And in that blog article, what do you think you're including? Images. If you're not, you should change that and go add images right away. The Smush Image Compression plugin, what this does is ensures that your images still look really good in quality so that when someone looks at them, they don't look all pixelated and fuzzy, they still look really sharp, but this decreases the size of the image in which I'm talking about the server size, right? The hard drive space that is taking up. So when people ping your site, it loads much faster. The third plugin that you have to use is a Yoast SEO plugin. It does everything from on-page optimization, controlling your meta tags, your title tags. It even analyzes your content telling you if you're doing a good job or a bad job. It creates site, site maps for you, helps with structure and markup. It does pretty much what most things that you need if you wanna ensure that your WordPress blog is SEO friendly. Now look, WordPress out of the box is pretty SEO friendly, but this plugin puts those last final touches that are really important. Most people think like, oh yeah, if I do most of the things, that's fine. No, that used to work five, six years ago, but SEO has changed. Now Google wants you to do every little thing right, and when you combine them all, that's when you see the climb in ranking, the extra search traffic, and this plugin will really help you get there. The fourth plugin is Sucuri. If your website gets hacked, your rankings and traffic will tank. And when it tanks and you fix it, it's hard to recover. Sucuri helps, you, uh, helps prevent you from getting hacked. Now, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's better than nothing. The last thing you wanna do is get your site hacked and lose all your traffic. I've seen this time and time again. Someone gets hacked, they figure it out after a week or two, their rankings tank, they fixed it, and they don't recover in 30 days. Eventually they recover, sometimes it takes two months, sometimes three months. If they're lucky, it happens quickly. And they're like, hey, my business is in the shitter, I'm losing a lot of money, all because of this one silly thing. Make sure you don't get hacked. The fifth plugin, AMP for WordPress. This helps with mobile users. Look, if you wanna rank really high, you wanna get in there on Google News, you wanna make sure that your site has the AMP framework. In other words, your text-based articles loads really fast, Google just pulls it on their end, they're leveraging their own framework, and I found that, yeah, in the United States, by leveraging the AMP framework, I didn't really get much more mobile traffic, but 
other countries where mobile devices and infrastructure isn't as good, such as Brazil, I saw a huge increase in mobile traffic by just leveraging this plugin. The sixth plugin for you is A3 Lazy Load. When you use images on your site, even when you compress them, it still takes time for that web page to load. You wanna make it where those images load as people scroll. That way you're not just loading up all these images on a page and it takes forever for that web page to load when people haven't even started reading the content and scrolling. That's why I like lazy load. If you're on the neilpatel.com site, you'll notice that as you read my blog post, images load as you scroll. This creates a better experience for you as a user and search engines prefer this as well. The seventh plugin, all-in-one schema rich snippets. If you wanna improve your search visibility by showing rich snippets between the page title, you gotta use this plugin. It's great, it's simple to use, it's one of the best things that I've done out there. Now with schema markup, what you'll find is some people are like, yeah, we're gonna use all the schema markup and use all these tags even though our site isn't relevant to specific uh, schema markups. You don't wanna do that. For example, I wouldn't be using stuff on neilpatel.com schema markup that's relevant for restaurants when I have nothing related to restaurants on my site. That'll irritate Google and it'll hurt you in the long run. So when you're using this, be nice and kind. Don't try to abuse schema markup. The eighth plugin, really simple SSL. 90% of websites that rank at the top have SSL installed. It's pretty much become a prerequisite if you wanna rank well. So use a SSL. And now it doesn't have to be through this plugin. Maybe your host provides it. Maybe your domain provider provides it. Whatever it may be, you want a secure site. What you'll find is some browsers even notify users saying, hey, this site isn't secure. And that'll cause people to bounce back, get away from your site, and over time that can decrease your rankings. You wanna make sure you have SSL, it's that important. So use these eight plugins, you'll find that your rankings will start going up over time, especially if you haven't used any of them, but when you start combining all of them, it does help quite a bit. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Let me know what your question is about WordPress or these plugins and I'll answer it. If you need extra help getting the rankings, whether it's content marketing, SEO, link building, hit up my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. We love helping companies grow their search traffic online. And thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, like it, share it, tell other people about it.